A model is suing Match.com after she alleges that 200 fake profiles were created using her image. She's a Miami model by the name of Juliana Avalos. There she is right she, there. She's a pretty girl. She is a pretty girl. She's joining other unnamed people in a $1.5 billion dollar, uh, class action settlement. Look or how lawsuit. far her left hip is from her right shoulder. Like, I couldn't do that at any point in my life ever. Like her body, I have a my dog Bob is the only person I know who can sort of turn like that. Mm -hmm. Bob can get her head like one way. Bob can form a right angle. You, it's very impressive. You just noticed what no one else has noticed at all about that picture. Is that right? Yeah, her <laughs> shoulder to hip ratio. <laughs> I, that's what turns me on about women is the shoulder to hip ratio. <laughs> Definitely. So sexy. That's why I'm outside of the 16 to 44 group, I guess. <laughs> all right, so what's up with uh, this so, woman? So, you know, obviously she's a beautiful woman. She's alleging that Match.com doesn't have any type of software that would detect fake profiles. And she alleges, and I don't know how she knows this information, she could totally be making it up, but she says that there are over 200 profiles using her image, and of course they're fake profiles, and she thinks that this is problematic because people can be using these for catfishing schemes. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, usually it'll be a very, very beautiful woman on the profile, but in reality, it's some crazy dude in the background um, utilizing the profile or use, using online communication to scam someone out of some sum of money. So she gave a specific example of a guy by the name of Al Cercelli. He was a 70-year-old who thought that he was talking to this beautiful woman. She was asking for money, and he borrowed money from family members and gathered all the money he had in his savings account and sent it to her. Obviously, he got scammed, and uh, his house went into foreclosure. He was broke as a result, and he committed suicide. So she's saying that she doesn't want her image to be used in these schemes, and that Match.com should be doing as much as possible to ensure that these profiles aren't being created. And so she wants what, like uh, seventy-five thousand dollars or something like that? One point five billion. But I should <laughs> note, I should note that it is a class action lawsuit. Okay, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that makes a difference, and obviously, most of those damages, the theoretically, would be uh, punitive damages. Right against Mike, but she'd still get that, if she, but n not if it's a class action suit. Um, so uh, it's interesting because there'd been a previous suit uh, that uh, alleging much of the same thing that found that, that, uh, that Match had no obligation whatsoever uh, to monitor this stuff. They yeah. had no obligation, like, like if they set up the site and then people, if people want to lie about their photo, so be it. That's not Match's job to make sure that everybody in there profile is telling the truth and I I tend to side with match on that mm -hmm. well I I, I I don't know if I agree with that. So that lawsuit that you're referring to was relatively recent. It happened in 2011, and there were it was another class action lawsuit filed by Match users that claimed that many of the profiles on there were fake, and that Match should have definitely gone out of its way to make sure that those fake profiles weren't created. Now, this lawsuit uh, took place in Dallas, and the Dallas District Court found that Match.com was not required to police these accounts, right? But I disagree. I think that there are programs, there is software out there that can easily find people who have fraudulent accounts. Okay. Is it is that true? I mean I It I, is. I mean think about think about something like YouTube, right? YouTube has software that can catch anyone who uploads anything that has copyrighted material. Okay, think about that. That's so sophisticated. So I don't find it hard to believe that there is software out there that can do the same thing. I mean, if you have 200 profiles that are using the exact same images, then something is wrong there. And, and, and her lawyer says that these phony accounts are easily preventable with the right software. I, I, don't, you know, I don't know that. You're, you're probably right. Um, th they're coming back strong. Did you read their quote? The real scam here is this uh, meritless lawsuit, which is filled with outlandish conspiracy theories and clumsy fabrications in lieu of factual or legal basis. We're confident that our legal system is as adept as we are in detecting scammers and will dismiss this case in short order. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's an interesting case. I mean, I, if the software. I mean, if the software were easy to put in and didn't cost a tremendous amount of money, then you would imagine Match would do it. I mean, it, Match has a vested interest in people believing that what they're seeing is what they're getting. Mm -hmm. People don't go on to Match to be scammed, and if they go on and feel like they're scam after scam after scam, that's cri potentially crippling to Match. I would imagine that the marketplace would dictate that Match 
would do everything they can to make things authentic. I absolutely agree with you, especially considering that Match is one of the websites that charges its users a fee every month. There's so many uh, apps right now that are free, so many websites that are free for dating, and if Match is going to put itself in the category where they're going to expect people to pay for it, then they should offer a superior product. If there are all these fake profiles on there, it's not a superior product. So I don't think that they're handling the situation appropriately, but that's just me. But 1.5 billion, come on. Yeah, we'll come see on. what happens with that lawsuit.